look here. Here's some butter that was in the freezer since 2016. If it expired in 2016, that means it was probably purchased in 2015. So it's 2022 now. This is seven years old. I'm about to open it. It's just got a simple plastic packaging on it. Been in the freezer seven years. Let's see how this puppy tastes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the film, open it, and get back to you. Okay, so apologies. I just did the video, but the camera wasn't on, so I'm going to do it again. So here's the butter. Uh, I microwaved it. I opened it very nicely on camera. <laughs> Missed it, didn't record it. I smelled it. It smells fine. I opened it up. The color is uniform. There's no oxidated rind on the outside. And I'll do this part again because it's very pleasant. I took a little nibble of it. I put it, this is now half the size because I... In the previous unrecorded video, I already had half of this. I spread it on this little piece of cornbread, and I tasted it, which I'm going to do again. I'm going to tell you already that I know that it is fine. Mm. Still fine. <laughs> so, seven-year-old butter in the freezer. Absolutely fine. No change in color, no oxidation. It was saved in its plastic wrapper and in a Ziploc bag. It didn't pick up any off flavors. And by the way, it was stored in a freezer with green peppers and other things that did have some vegetable -y odor. Wouldn't have ruined the butter, but it certainly would have been able to absorb the flavors. And I didn't notice any of that. So very, very happy to know that butter can be stored a long time. Bye.